When you think of the Middle Ages, what comes to mind? Knights in shining armor, majestic castles, or perhaps dirt? Were medieval people really always dirty? It's a common stereotype that medieval people were perpetually filthy. But how true is this? Believe it or not, hygiene was important even back then. Public bathhouses were quite popular in medieval Europe, especially in larger towns and cities. People would visit these bathhouses to clean themselves and socialize. Bathing wasn't just a luxury for the wealthy. Even commoners had access to bathhouses where they could soak in warm water and wash away the grime. Washing clothes was another essential part of medieval life. People used natural detergents made from plants and ash to clean their garments. They would then rinse them in rivers or streams. Hygiene extended to food preparation as well. Medieval kitchens might seem rudimentary by today's standards, but they followed basic cleanliness practices. Fresh ingredients were used, and efforts were made to keep cooking areas clean. Public health measures were also in place. During times of plague or disease, towns would implement quarantine measures and clean the streets to prevent the spread of illness. Medieval medicine might have been primitive, but there was an understanding of the importance of cleanliness in preventing sickness. Doctors and healers recommended washing hands and keeping wounds clean. Soap was a valuable commodity in the Middle Ages. Made from animal fats and lye, it was used for personal hygiene and cleaning purposes. People knew the benefits of using soap to stay clean. So while medieval life wasn't as spotless as today, people certainly weren't always dirty. They had their own ways of staying clean and healthy, proving that cleanliness has always been a timeless value. Next time you think of the Middle Ages, remember the bathhouses, the soap, and the efforts to stay clean. The past might surprise you.